somewhere amidst the smoke. They're all corroded. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I hope the wind isn't too bad. I'm hoping this external microphone is doing its job. Anyway, so I just want to go over what all has happened to the truck. We're going to do a truck update before the first event of the season. I'm super excited. For those of you that haven't been following along, we're going to Big Time Customs Dyno event on April 13th in New Jersey. Anyway, the big update for the truck is the transmission is officially getting built right now. The transmission, the core that I purchased is over getting powder coat done. And we have decided to go full billet. If there is a billet part for this truck, I have recently purchased it. Uh, well, I should say Greg's purchasing it and I'm buying it through him. So the transmission is gonna go full billet. Input, intermediate, uh, overdrive planetary and rear hub along with a center support gonna get a deep dish magtech aluminum uh, pan new filter new solenoids gpz clutches the works uh, shift a transgo shift kit so it is getting everything done that i'm pretty certain you can do to a 5r there are the epc uh, solenoids you can do but if you haven't already go watch my previous transmission video there'll be a link to that down below goes into a little more detail as what's happening and hopefully that should give you uh, all the information you need. If not, drop those comments down below. Let's hear what you guys have to say. The truck is absolutely filthy. Obviously we'll have this washed up and looking good for the event. And uh, going back to my previous dyno event, well, before we get into what I found out most likely happened, why I did low horsepower numbers at that event, uh, we're gonna first talk about, we got the drive shaft done. It's got all new U-joints, a new carrier bearing. It was rebalanced by a shop. Uh, so that's all good and installed. All in all, I would say 180,000 miles, 190,000 miles, somewhere in that ballpark of a uh, usage out of a stock part that's never been touched is not all that bad. We did stick with a two piece. Unfortunately, I wanted to upgrade to a one piece, but it turns out the length on this cab would limit me to a top speed of about 100 miles an hour. And I was not okay with that because the goal is to go faster than that at the track. And the last thing you want to do is destroy your drive shaft while you're halfway down the track. Now, lastly, we're at this tire here and this brake caliper seized up on me again. Okay, guys, so very similar to last year, again, all messed up. Has, uh, I don't know how well this is showing up on camera. There's ridges all over. Uh, a bunch of metal came out. I'll blow this off a little before we put it back on because I didn't get another rotor from them. I do have a spare set of pads from the last time I had to uh, do this. So we are gonna get the new caliper in there. <clears throat> Just this is frustrating. These are this is like a hundred and sixty dollar set of brakes, something like that, uh, between rotors and pads that I'm replacing for the second time early. So anyway, we're gonna get this back on. However, I was thinking for those of you that have been following since the last Dino event, uh, this could have been starting to seize up as far back as then. I did see a gas mileage drop, so probably had a little bit of this going on for a bit. I'm pretty irritated for the record. But uh, we're going to get it fixed, we're going to get the truck back on, take it for a test drive and uh, see how it does. And we're going to hit up the dyno again, probably before the built transmission and the dyno event coming up on April 13th. Anyway guys, these are new wheels, they're not the highest quality wheel out there, it's not the most expensive thing. But they are nice wheels, they're not cheap, um, and I'm really proud of them, I love them, I think they look awesome. Yet at the same time, they aren't over the top. So. I do love them. I need to get these center caps though. I still haven't gotten them. So it seized up, ruined another set of rotors, which is makes me very frustrated. But we got a new one, we got it fixed up. And most likely in the future, we will probably do away with the factory brakes on this truck in all four corners. Probably starting with the rear since I've had so much issue with them. Sorry guys, I have to use my door to shield from the wind to make sure you guys are actually able to hear what I'm saying. 
So there's a really good chance, guys, with that caliper sticking, that part of my issue at that last Dino event was a sticking caliper. I don't know how long it's been sticking, but around the time and uh, ripping 60 when I was talking to you down there, you can attest, I was saying the truck just doesn't seem as fast as it did. Maybe it's all in my head, but uh, well, most likely it probably wasn't because it was probably the sticking caliper. So essentially the truck should dyno the new turbo is is pretty big all things considered and i don't have enough fuel to utilize that turbo to its fullest potential i am expecting the injectors are the limiting factor so we will see that the power max turbo should have given us all the air we needed to get the most out of these injectors now i will say top end feels much stronger with this turbo so that is a consideration but at the end of the day, it should be a relatively minimal uh, difference for the size injector I'm running. Now, if I was running the injector I'm going to, hint, it's going to be larger than a 190, then yeah, this turbo would make a huge, huge difference because a PowerMax can't clean up 190s. With these injectors set up, this truck should do low 500s. 520 uh, would probably be about the most. Some people claim a little more, but I'd say 520 is fair with everything done. With everything done to the truck, 520 should be a good number, and especially if that sticking caliper was a factor back then, it'll definitely be a factor there. Now again, I do think the transmission plays a role, and I stand by that. I do think I have some slippage in there, and I'm probably losing power from that. So we have the, the billet triple disc torque converter and, and fully built transmission on the way, so it is coming soon, guys. Uh, very, very excited, as you've heard me say a ton of times. Anyway, so the plans for this truck, are we are going to hit up this dyno event, hopefully lay down 520-ish. That is my goal. That would make me very, very happy. It's about 520 horsepower. We're going to then go to the track, back those numbers up. Even though technically we already have from our previous track visit, we're going to go out and do it again and hopefully get a little bit better time. Hopefully I'm getting a little bit better at the track. We'll see. I am running a heavier wheel and tire than before, which... Uh, can definitely affect us at the track. So who knows what will happen because again the wheel and tire do when you have rotating mass That is big and we just added on to our rotating mass. So we'll see what happens And then after that the plan is to turn around We're gonna cram bigger injectors into this thing a regulated return get some uh, fancy looking parts under the hood and turn around and see what happens guys the goal is to hit 12s this season i don't know if that'll be uh right when i do all the modifications or when that'll happen but definitely by the end of the season i am looking for a 12. also i am talking to josh we might get a mustang versus the super duty race we'll see what happens that is something uh we're trying to do just a friendly competition obviously even with what i'm going to do to the truck my truck's not going to be faster in a you know just down the track uh hopefully hopefully guys josh misses a gear or or has a hard start and i get a i get the lead on him that's the goal we'll see because obviously in a straight line versus a new a newer mustang the truck just it's not faster uh plain and simple people have made them faster yes but this truck is not one of those trucks Anyway, guys, let's end off with some exhaust notes from the truck. And then, guys, I will see you in the next upload. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. If you can, please come out to Big Time Customs Dino event in New Jersey. Very excited about that. Don't forget to check out my turbo sponsor, Turbo Time USA. Diode Dynamics for the lights on the last video you guys checked out. That's all, guys. I will see you in the next upload.